Courtney Cox from the Iron Maidens. Hello. If you had a time machine and you could go back to the beginnings of rock and roll through the 50, 60, 70 year history of rock and roll and you could play and put your hands on one guitar, one guitar, one immortal guitar. It's too early for this. <laughs> what guitar would that be? Who played it? What was the music? What was the era? What comes to mind? Well, since Comparison wasn't around back in the early 80s, I would probably say the P.V. Vandenberg. The pink one. But I actually own one. so. <laughs> okay, a pink P.V. Vandenberg. Who yeah. played it? Adrian Vandenberg. Oh, Adrian's guitar. Yeah. Okay, White Snake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there was a piece of music that resonated with you when you saw that guitar or heard that guitar for the first time? Oh, I just remember seeing all the old music videos. I was just completely obsessed with it. So. You were obsessed with the look and the sound of the guitar. Yes. So if, if you, were, you were able to hold that guitar, what would you play on it? What would you do? Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, everything. Okay. A good tone's good tone. Good guitars. See, good guitars. you see, the the theme of Lisa's next book is immortal guitars. The men are mortal, but the guitars are immortal. You're sitting next to one right there. That's Randy Rhodes yeah, Flying Rhodes V, v. Yes. and that's also Randy's. And this is the Peter Frampton. That Frampton comes alive guitar that was lost at sea and came back. So I'm, it really points to inspiration. Why you play always into those 80s guys you know so that's where my head is. that's where your head's at yeah all right that's all courtney coffee time